And I talk about sometimes in the middle rounds that you're looking for those players that either possess those elite physical tools but maybe weren't able to piece it all together, and you think that if you get them in the right coaching and the right system that you can get the most out of them. Um, those are the type of guys you look for. Or sometimes you look for the guys that are the productive college players but maybe lack those one or two physical traits to put them over the top as a first or second round prospect, but you think you can bring them in, put them in your system, and they can still be productive role players and end up being values and bargains and steals. Uh, that's the name of the game when it comes to the NFL draft. When you look at a guy like Devin Street from Pittsburgh, here's a guy that had the benefit of Tom Savage throwing the ball the, this past year at Pittsburgh. Now, this is a guy that's been a productive player at the college level. So a lot of teams are going to sit there and look at him maybe and see a guy that um, can be a productive NFL wide receiver. But I'm not so sure. And when I look at him, he's a guy that's got good size, although he's a little bit on the rail thin side, just a little bit. He's a guy with eh, mediocre initial quickness, not particularly great deep speed, and he's a solid but not great route runner. So when you take that initial quickness lack and that lack of real deep speed and just the fact that he's a so-so route runner, I really question whether or not he's going to be able to create separation at the NFL level, either with bigger physical corners like Richard Sherman's and Aqib Talib's and Darrell Revis and the like, or, or Peanut Tillman, let's say, or if he's going to be able to get separation against a smaller corner such as a Tim Jennings um, because they're just going to be able to jump in front of him on routes and it's going to cause a lot of problems. Uh, Devin Street is a guy to me that I look at and I say maybe if he gets in the right system and maybe if he has uh, the right coach and maybe if he has the right quarterback, maybe he can be a productive NFL wide receiver. But as I was watching him this year at Pittsburgh, I saw a guy that – as I'm watching him, I'm seeing him occasionally get open, but I'm seeing a lot of times where he's not that wide open. I'm seeing a guy with good jump ball ability, but not elite jump ball ability. I'm seeing a guy with good height, but not necessarily a lot of strength, not a lot of meat on his bones. So I see where he can be bumped off of his spot and he can be out physical. And when you take that, combine that with the lack of quickness, a lack of speed, I'm just not sure how well that really measures up, especially in this deep and talented, loaded 2014 wide receiver class. I look at Devin Street, frankly, and I see a guy, maybe it's just because of the talent of this wide receiver class, that I probably wouldn't touch with anything more than a 6th or 7th round pick. Now, the player that I compare him to, ironically enough, is a Marcus Colston, who was a 7th round pick out of Hofstra. And we've seen how that worked out for the New Orleans Saints. It worked out very, very well. So I don't want to say there's no chance of a Devon Street becoming a productive NFL wide receiver. But as I watched him, there was nothing really that jumped out to me. In fact, as I'm watching him, I'm just envisioning him having troubles getting open, having problems getting separation. And, you know, it's one of those things, you take that and you throw in the fact that he's not really great after the catch. I just really don't see where he's going to be all that productive of an NFL wide receiver. I hope I'm wrong for his sake, and I hope I'm wrong for the sake of what other team either drafts him or signs him as a priority free agent. But like I said to me, I'm not exploring taking him until at least the sixth round and maybe even the seventh round.